In this video, we'll discuss investigations done in myocardial infarction patient. The easiest and earliest investigation that's very important is EKG because other tests require some time to get their results. There are two types of myocardial infarction, transmural and subendocardial. Transmural has elevated ST segment on EKG and subendocardial have depressed ST segment on EKG. So what's the EKG criteria for reperfusion? To consider reperfusion of transmural infarct, STMI, ST elevation should be more than 1 mm in 2 limb leads or more than 2 mm in 2 contagious chest leads and T wave may be flipped or flat also followed by inversion. Next investigation is cardiac enzyme. There is a direct relationship between the degree of troponin elevation and mortality. Minor elevation of troponin levels may not be diagnostic of acute coronary syndrome because it may occur in congestive heart failure, myocarditis or pulmonary embolism. When the cardiac biomarkers are done, cardiac biomarkers are done at baseline after 4 to 6 hours and after 12 hours. So 0, 6 and 12 hours. Cardiac specific troponin I and T levels reach more than 20 times the normal values in STMI. So what are the starting and peak of the troponin levels? Troponin levels start rising after 2 hours, peak in 2 days and remains high for 7 to 10 days. What's the difference between creatinine kinase and CKMB? Creatinine kinase may also rise in myocardial infarction but this enzyme is not cardiospecific. It may also increase in skeletal muscle diseases, trauma and even after intramuscular injection. Where the CKMB is cardiospecific and is not present in significant amount in extra cardiac tissue, but it may rise in myocarditis and electrical cardioversion also. So, what are the effects of early recanalization and reperfusion on the levels of troponin and CKMB enzymes? Early recanalization and reperfusion results in a higher level and higher peak of CKMB and troponin. And why is it due to? This is due to the release of cardiac biomarkers from the blocked infarcted tissue into the circulation that is a washout from the blocked area once the coronary circulation is re-established. So what's the next step if biomarkers is, are negative in a suspected patient of myocardial infarction? If the biomarkers are negative, patient is taken for the stress testing. If Exercise tolerance testing is positive. Patient is admitted. How do you do the testing in if a patient can't walk? A pharmacological stress testing is done in patient who can't walk. What's the result of invasive therapy in troponin positive and troponin negative patients? In positive troponin level patients, early invasive therapy is 40% more successful than compared to those with negative troponin levels. The other test CRP and BNP natriuretic peptides correlate independently with increased mortality. What's the angiographic grading of coronary artery perfusion? There are four grades. Grade 0 is complete occlusion. Grade 1 some penetration of contrast material but no perfusion. Grade 2 perfusion in the entire bed but slow flow and grade 3 full perfusion with normal flow and this is what is required in recanalization or reperfusion. Grade 3 full perfusion with normal flow. What type of echocardiography are done in myocardial infarction and what are their results? Two types of echocardiography, normal echocardiography and Doppler echocardiography. So what are the results of normal echocardiography? Echocardiography shows abnormal wall motion almost invariably in all these patients and aids in the management of decisions like fibrinolysis or PCI. Echocardiography also estimates LB function. It may also identify the presence of right ventricular infarction, ventricular aneurysm, pericardial effusion, and left ventricle thrombus. Other echo is Doppler echocardiography that can identify ventricular septal defect and mitral regurgitation, 
VSD and mitral regurgitation are two important complications of STMI. Next test is myocardial perfusion imaging. The myocardial perfusion imaging reveals cold spot in most patients during the first few hours after transmural infarct. But it can differentiate between an acute infarct and an old scar, so it's not diagnostic of transmural infarct, but it shows a cold spot in a patient with MI. Next test is radionucleotide technetium labeled RBC. Radionucleotide technetium labeled RBC demonstrate abnormal wall motion and number two a reduction in ventricular ejection fraction but in right ventricular infarction right ventricular ejection fraction also reduced next test is high resolution cardiac mri with gadolinium high resolution cardiac mri with gadolinium gives images after 10 minutes and what's the result of high resolution cardiac MRI, MRI with gadolinium. Normal myocardium appears as dark and infarcted areas as bright.